Root canal therapy involves treating the nerve space inside a tooth. Teeth are hard objects, but they're not solid. Inside each tooth lies a hollow area that houses the tooth's nerve, or, as a dentist would say, pulp tissue. This space is generally divided into two portions. One is the pulp chamber. That's a cavern that lies pretty much in the center of the tooth. And then, running the length of each tooth root are the individual root canals. Teeth usually have one, two, or three roots. Our diagram here shows a molar that has two, and then every tooth root will have at least one root canal. Some will have two or more. Here on DentalPictureShow.com, we have a chart that lists the number of roots and root canals different types of teeth usually have. The reason this might be of interest to you is because the amount of time it takes your dentist to complete your treatment, as well as the fee they charge, are both to a great degree based on the total number of canals they are treating. So, to wrap up this introductory segment, when you're having root canal therapy, you'll now know where your dentist is working. They're treating, and that means cleaning, disinfecting, and sealing. We'll explain more about that in our next segment. The hollow nerve space that lies inside your tooth.